What is going on, Rob Falorn? Back at you in another video. The Poor Man's Podcast is what I'm going to be reacting to right now. Stripper gets angry that men don't want to date her. Hmm, I think I'm going to react to two videos that he has because I see this title and I want to react to it. Educated men versus hood men. This should be interesting. Cause you know, <clears throat> women always got some dumb take on this shit. Yeah, I said it. Women always have dumb takes on this shit. So let's let's hear this dumb shit. All right, let's go. Yeah, I want to have a conversation about how black educated college men act like they too good to date a lot of types of women. Like they have this one archetype of woman in their mind, and if that's not her, they will not wife you. That's very true. They should. Just like uh, the more money you make, you should not be hanging out. This might this might sound like you being brand new, but the more money you make, you should not be in the same environment that you are right now. If you are in the same environment that you are when you were broke and you making, let's say you making a half million dollars right now and you in the same environment, you're putting yourself in danger. You need to get yourself out of that environment million dollars if you have some type of clout or fame you should not be in the same environment you shouldn't be hanging out with the same people depending on who you's hanging out with though that, that that's what depends who you was hanging out with if you if you think of the person that you was hanging out with what's the first thing that pop in your head if it's negative you might need to distance yourself from um negative people like that because you're gonna end up r.i.p to take off because of Quavo, dumbass. Y'all hanging around with the wrong people and the stray bullet done, done got uh, the actual hit maker on the team. So yes, hood dudes and educated dudes are two different dudes. They don't talk the same, they don't act the same, and they shouldn't date the same. So for all y'all that don't wanna get on a certain dude's program, you know, they have the right to say get out they have the right to say no and yeah they have the right to believe that they too good for you because some of them are and for people saying that people saying that they don't think that they're special let's let's be honest some people are special okay would you say lebron isn't special he's six eight with a 40 inch vert and he's a billionaire still playing the game of basketball after 20 years I, I, I saw a clip of the Fresh and Fit podcast one day and uh, this girl tried to press Myron. She was like, do you think you're special? And Myron said, no, I don't think I'm special. I never said I was special. Myron, you should think you're special. You have a special job doing so entertaining that it's making you bukus of money. And it's getting you a whole bunch of fame in Miami. Everybody knows who you are. You are special. That's what you should have told the bitch, but you tried to humble yourself. I don't like that. You are special because the next dude she date ain't going to be like you. So yeah, you, you special. You're not average. There is such thing as being a super Saiyan when everybody else is KO Ken. All right. And then they turn around and get mad when they be like, oh, those type of girls only like hood boys. But they fail to realize but you do. that hood men actually love and show vulnerability. Oh, really? Yeah, because they ain't got shit else to do. They ain't got no, they, they ain't got nowhere else to live. They hood dudes. You are their only option. This is why hood dudes, when they lose the girl, when they lose the girl that they's with, with another dude, they're willing to put their whole life on the line just to eliminate the other dude. This is what hood dudes do. They're trash. Trash have nothing else better to do one. They have nowhere else better to go to and they're disposable three. You're just looking for somebody who looks good on paper and a, a good in a photo. And you mad because she don't either like you or she doesn't have substance. That's just what I've noticed. And me wanting an educated man 
when I got one, just to realize he really wanted me to fit in a certain type of mode. Like, yeah. Y'all want to talk about that? You'll never see professional level Asian men or white men that are expected to marry women that don't meet their standard. Right. Someone has said it and worded it way better than I ever could have because I have been saying this with my best friend for the longest now. Here's a good example right here. Certain people are too good to date you because your job profession is going to keep you from dating certain people. Even if you look good, you know, you just might be one of the side bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, like let's be honest. If Elon Musk was to date a sex worker, he would be grilled on Twitter. To where it's like, if you look a certain way, it's like these men act like they are just like, it's always this certain look of female that they'll actually date and wife because I guess they attribute it to like, oh, nice girl next yes, door looking like matters. she that yes, possibly do matters. this or that. She looks good on paper. Simple. She, I can bring her around family, this and a third. And I'm sorry, I don't think people want to bring a stripper around uh, their mama and daddy. No. She has the look, she has a very safe look. Because we have tattoos, I'm very tatted. Y'all can't see it now, but I have a lot of tattoos. Because we are tatted. I like tattoos, depending on what you have, but that's also a red flag. Especially if it's in certain places. Like I can't see, I can't see her tattoos from looking right here, right? Thank God. Because if you had it on your neck, on your face, on your chest, then I'd be like, yeah, you. Of course you can't come around certain people. And have more of like a, I'm not gonna say like, I don't- Go ahead I'm and say it. I'm right to say it. Go ahead and say it. Shake the ass. I don't know, <laughs> anyway. Because we don't have that girl next door look, men consistently try to fun girl us. These college educated men, it's always them. Like when it comes to like the, they always assume that we like, we only like hood guys that they assume that they know our type. And well, because they've seen y'all before and women are damn near the same everywhere you go. Damn near. You see the same hoes everywhere you go. Y'all all want the same weaves. Y'all notice when there's a trend, y'all are hot right on it. Every dude don't look the same. Every dude don't desire to look the same. They might want the same certain things, but as far as look goes, all you women want the same type of body. A lot of y'all want the same type of hair, that Brazilian bullshit, and that, and that makeup, boy, I, I shit you not, boy, that shit be transforming any and everybody. All got the same type of makeup, man. I'm sorry to put y'all in that category, but you gonna fit in that bitch today. That's, that's, that's what it is and they don't even give us a chance because me personally i like college educated men i went to college and that's just what i like well instead of this is a new era you're gonna have to go up to the person that you want and start talking to him let him know that you're not the same type of person because people people run into the same type of people every day and yes you are put in a category and yes you are judged only God can judge me. That's literally the weakest shit in the black community today. I like nerds. Well, I like square nerds. Be like the woman like that squares. the man wants. Be like, be the woman that the man wants. Okay, but I would take it a step further. Go talk to him. Be the woman the man wants then. That, but these men always assume that my type is like, oh, I see she's tatted. She like hood niggas. That's like, and I'm just like, if you know what they're attracted to, why, why do y'all keep doing that? And then not only keep doing that, but then you keep trying to put us in this fun girl category. And the fun girl is this category where it's like, I enjoy having fun with you, but I would never wife you. You don't have the look of somebody that I would consider a wife. And I'm, it's like, what does a wife look like? Because just because somebody looks like your girl next door, it's not mean she's a good person. It's not mean that she's automatically educated. That's um, true. Me personally, I, I agree in a nice way. I make a lot more than a lot of the nobody girls. Making. Yeah, right. Nobody cares about your fucking paper, bitch. What is up with y'all and paper? Y'all trying to be a man so bad. 
Nobody cares. You ain't spending it on the dude. So what? Why did, are you gonna pay a bill or two? Then why bring it up? They're like, oh, like successful and stable and have like this great image. Um, don't but care. I don't work a job that is like conventional to where it's like, oh, well, I can brag about what kind of job she has. Tired of people assuming that I like a certain type of guy and wanting to fun girl me because personally, I want a family and commitment and a relationship and all of those things. Well, you're going to have to stop the cap. Listen, I don't think she's capping, but this is a new era. Y'all going to have to start walking up to the dude y'all want, plain and simple. We'll catch y'all in the next video.